So why do plants need nitrogen? Okay, uh, pretty important in the plants, every protein, uh, every amino acid is made up of, of nitrogen compounds. Uh, they have amine compounds, so nitrogen and hydrogen stuck together. Chlorophyll is a you know, protein backbone. The green chlorophyll that, that uh, harvests the sun's energy uh, requires nitrogen. Yeah, all of the proteins in the plant, uh, DNA, you know, our genetic material is a nitrogen backbone. So it's, wow. you know, it's, it's in every cell, it's in, uh, involved in pretty much every uh, reaction within the plant and within animals and, uh, and bacteria as well. Wow. So it's, yeah, so it's, it's, uh, it's one of the, it's an essential nutrient and it's one of the largest quantities in plants and in animals in terms of, you know, if you, if you broke us down, yeah, the biggest parts are carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Next on the list is nitrogen. I see. I see. And without it, we're, we're doomed. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's like a key component <laughs> of carbon-based life. Yeah, exactly. Um, yes. Okay. Um, now, how do plants get nitrogen? Yeah. So plants, yeah, all the, all the nitrogen they get, I shouldn't say all the nitrogen, but most of the nitrogen they get, they absorb from the soil, uh, take up through the roots. Uh, plants can actually absorb nitrogen through the leaves. Mm. So, uh, you know, that's why sometimes foliar, foliar applications, you know, look like they do something phenomenal because they get a little bit of nitrogen through the leaves into the plant, right where it needs it at the time. And you'll see an immediate, you know, green up. Uh, but it's a pretty small amount that plants can absorb that way. And, right. uh, and there've been, and generally speaking in nature, that's not going to be, there'll be a little bit of nitrogen stuck be a, in rain, a bear might pee on the plant. Um, it's not yeah, too yeah, many. But <laughs> most of it is through the roots. Okay. Most of and, it, yeah. and, and even, even foliar nitrogen, most of it runs off the plant down to the soil, <laughs> right. taken up through the roots. Or it's like a fertilizer spray, basically. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. How are they getting it through the roots? I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so getting it through the roots. Or put it another way, why, yeah. why is there nitrogen in the ground? Yeah. Why is there <laughs> nitrogen in the ground? Yeah. And that's where um, lots of, you know, we could spend an hour in the nitrogen cycle. Yes. Yes. Uh, first, first step is, you know, converting that nitrogen gas into ammonium. So that's what, uh, that's what the, uh, the ribosomia bacteria, you know, associated with legumes will do that's there's free living uh cyanobacteria in the soil uh that will take that that very strong bond and break it and combine that nitrogen with hydrogen to get ammonium which plants can use directly trouble with ammonium is it it has a positive charge so it sticks to the clay minerals, it sticks to the organic matter in the soil. It doesn't move easily with water. Oh. There's other bacteria that will use the ammonium and convert it to nitrate. And nitrate moves very easily with water. So most of the water, most of the nitrogen taken up by plants is actually in the nitrate form just because it, it moves with the water. As the plants oh. take up water, it just pulls that nitrate with it. So ammonium is, you could say ammonium is relatively stable in soil compared to nitrate, which can be rained away? Yeah. That, yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I didn't yeah. Know yeah. That. But the, yeah, the, the drawback with nitrate, yes, it can be rained away. It can be leached out of the soil. Um, but it also means it's mobile in the soil and plants can, can get at it easily where the, yes. you know, the ammonium, the roots have to grow close enough to, a, you know, a clay mineral to be able to absorb it by uh, diffusion. Right. Which, or if you, you have know, a, so... a fairly healthy balance of organic life and organic matter in your soil, there's probably a more, more opportunity for the ammonium to be changed and turned into nitrates. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Warm, warm, moist conditions, right. you know, uh, Lots of bacteria in the soil that are ready to do that. Yeah. Um, and that leads to the other part. In the soil itself, the biggest pool of nitrogen is actually in the organic matter. 
Right. You know, you know, we've it's you know broken down plants and animals. It it's got a part of the nitrogen that uh, was there originally, and it's bound up in in compounds in that organic matter. Uh, so you know we might have if you like in an acre of topsoil we might have three thousand pounds of nitrogen in the organic matter. Uh, as that breaks down, you know, or as it cycles back and forth between the organic form and and uh, and mineral form, you know, we might get a hundred pounds out of that three thousand pounds released into the soil. And is that is the nitrogen in the organic matter? Is it broken down into ammonium or nitrate or what is it? Yeah, uh... it, it will go. It will go from a more organic matter to ammonium. I see. And then converted to nitrate. Okay, so there really think about it in soil. There's there's three three kinds of nitrogen. There's yeah, there's ammonium. Yeah. There's nitrate, and then you've got this nitrogen raw material that's exactly in the yeah. process of becoming either ammonium or nitrate. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And see. and the complication is that organic in, um, not all of it breaks down equally quickly. Yes. Know, there's differences in the compounds, there's different and usually it's tied to mineral matter in some form or, or hidden inside of a you know a granule of soil. And uh, and so it's not all available. Oh, and okay, yeah. and we don't want it all to be available. Right. <laughs> it's it's kind of like uh, yeah you want the structure of the cake. And we can skim off some of the icing, but you don't want to take the cake away or else the soil falls apart. We, we yeah. lose a whole lot of other uh, other things that organic matter does for us. Right. I see. You know, so, so when we talk about, well, getting, you know, we can get all our, all of our nitrogen from organic matter, uh, only if we're breaking down that organic matter and, and using up the part in the soil that we want to keep. Yes. Yes, and I mean, there's there's such a range. I mean, you could have you got, I got a bucket of sawdust and a bucket of grass clippings. Um, you know, after two mm -hmm. weeks, the bucket of sawdust is still a bucket of sawdust. <laughs> the bucket of grass clippings is oh you know, yeah yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't want to leave that in the bedroom. No um, <laughs> no no. Um, yeah. And actually, that that opens up another uh, complication. If you mix that bucket of sawdust in the soil, you know that sawdust has a lot of carbon and a little bit of nitrogen. Yeah, so we we talk about a you know, carbon to nitrogen ratio. So sawdust has about two hundred parts carbon to one part nitrogen. Right. Yes. Uh, put that sawdust in the soil. The bacteria, the fungi, in the soil say, "Oh, you know, food, food," because they use carbon compounds. Right. Uh, Will immediately set to starting to eat that, uh, grow and multiply. But to do that, they need nitrogen. Right. So what do they do? Oh, we've got some ammonium. We've got some nitrate in the soil. We will absorb that, use that for our growth, right. and convert that, convert that into, you know, bacteria bodies. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and when you consider, you know, you've got six billion bacteria in a teaspoon of soil, then you're one lonely little plant. Yeah, the bacteria get it first. Right. Yeah, yeah. And so you don't, you're not, I mean, the, the, the net effect is that you still have uh, plenty of, uh, let's say you had really good soil with all kinds of nitrogen. Yeah, and yeah. The nitrogen's still there, but yes. the plants can't get at it. Somebody else right. has got it first. You're right. Oh, it's sort of being know, borrowed. And, then, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. and until they use up the extra carbon compounds that stays in the organic form right hey if you want to help support everything i'm doing here go to vessies.com to buy whatever you need for your garden this year and use my coupon code gavs23 to get free shipping as long as there's a pack of seeds in the order and there's no oversized items in the order check out the description box of this video for details you can buy everything you need from vessies they have seeds fruit bushes and trees soil amendments pest solutions 
tools, clothing, and lots of other stuff too. So yeah, if you want to help support everything I'm doing here and they sell something you need, buy it from them using my coupon code and happy gardening.